What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central, and in this video, I'm going to talk about why Jorgen may be actually the most important hero in all of Hero Wars Facebook and web. I know, I know, I know. Only It's only game. Why you have to be mad? So before we begin any deeper in the conversation about Jorgen being so important, I do want to say that there are several videos of uh, of me talking about how bad Jorgen is because of how predominant and how powerful and how you see everywhere Sebastian. And just as a quick recap of our best hero in the game, Sebastian, Ode to Serenity is a ability that allows Sebastian to protect his team from debuffs. And this includes curses and stuns and blinds and charms and you know namely he shuts down Jorgen just completely shuts down Jorgen once he uses his ultimate ability and you might say well okay Jorgen slows energy gain down well the thing is is Sebastian also has this violet ability right here that allows him to effectively start each fight with more than half of his energy already charged you can see that my Sebastian here is at 106,000 power level and he is going to start every fight at 59.8 percent energy so you have this ability to protect your team from debuffs and effectively use this ability before any enemy has a chance to debuff your side and you can see how sebastian is super important not only is is he important in player versus player but he's an integral part of defeating osh in the guild raid system up here in the uh in the titan area in the asgard area where you fight osh every weekend he's super important as you know adding a ton of additional damage to to, you know to anybody that does critical hits and use you for critical hits and you know all of that we, we, we're not going to talk about that team here why why then am i discussing jorgen being so important well to get the statement out of the way because of sebastian's popularity jorgen is a bad hero to level that is absolutely 100 factual because of how many people level sebastian jorgen is a bad hero to invest in however if you come up against somebody that is not using Sebastian, Jorgen is your best friend. Now I want to talk a little bit about some Guild War training and then a Guild War fight that uh, that I had to go up against this past week. I was tasked with defeating a Kark lineup, an undead Kark lineup. We have a warrior hero in Xing Mao right here. She also can blind your team and away control your team with with you know with debuffs. And then you have Arachne who can effectively stun lock. And then you have Corvus who has the the ability to reduce your defensive capabilities, your armor and your magic defense and your dodge ability. So you have a lot of reason to bring a Sebastian to counter this team. But whenever I see a team like this that doesn't have Sebastian, especially with a damage dealer that's in the second position, and this applies for any damage dealer that's in the second position, there are some caveats here and there, of course, but whenever I see a team lineup like this without Sebastian, then I immediately think about using Jorgen. So just the very first fight that I go up against, you know, I'm a, I'm a Kark main, I'm using my own Sebastian, right? To protect myself from stuns and, you know, the blinds and, and the stun from Kark if it ever happens and Corvus's ultimate. But my Jorgen, because every time he hits, he's reducing the energy of the tank, and because of his ability to hit frequently and consistently and, you know, all of that, uh, you know, a little bit of help from the enemy doing area of effect damage to hit him, you know, just the Arachne, I guess. He's able to ult pretty early on in the fight, and this ultimate ability will stop the enemy's front line from gaining energy for a few seconds. Now, not only can the enemy not remove this, but this allows my Kark time to ult first when I have a much stronger Kark, which means I'm always going to ult second if I'm not controlling the enemy Kark's energy gain and uh, effectively preventing the enemy Kark from ulting until, well, it's way too late. And the enemy Corvus doesn't use his armor ability at all. Now, a thicker tank, a more defensive tank like an Astaroth, uh, potentially Aurora, or, you know, certainly Rufus, Galahad, they probably would have an opportunity to use their ultimate ability, even using Jorgen, but it would certainly be delayed. And every single one of these fights, I'm using Jorgen to easily counter this lineup. I'm just doing some Guild War testing here. But then whenever I actually go into the Guild War fight against this team, I'm using my Jorgen to effectively shut down the enemy front line's energy gain. Without an armor artifact, my Kark is gonna tear through your line. Never mind the ability of 
uh, Sebastian to you know increase my critical hit chance and my Fenris that increases my physical damage against blinded enemies. And you're gonna see me use that to great effect here in just a little bit. Jorgen is an amazing, amazing, amazing hero just like Leon can control and Arachne can stun lock. If your enemy is not using a Sebastian, consider Jorgen. And if you don't have a Jorgen leveled up, you don't need him even that high. You really don't. All you really need is him at max level, at level 130. You need his primary ability, his ultimate leveled up completely so that his ultimate does the nine second energy denial or, or pausing energy gain for nine seconds for the front uh, for the front line. And then you also need this violet ability with every attack, Jorgen steals some of the affected enemy's energy. Every time Jorgen does an auto attack, he's stealing 11% of the enemy's energy. Every time the enemy attacks or uses a skill, they're gaining 10%. So you can see how he's slowing down, almost doubling the amount of time it takes for the enemy to use an ultimate ability. This makes Jorgen the absolute most important control hero if you don't see uh, Sebastian, unfortunately. But unfortunately, like I said, Sebastian being the most popular hero in all of Hero Wars Facebook and web, the opportunity to use Jorgen isn't that often. And you could absolutely use the same strategy with Leon to charm lock the enemy team or Arachne to stun lock the enemy team. Both of those are viable strategies. There are several other control heroes that you can use to slow down and control the enemy team if they're not using a Sebastian. I know it does kind of make me a little bit of a hypocrite to say, and I still kind of think Jorgen isn't a great hero to invest in unless you have the extra resources to invest in. You can see that my Jorgen is only at 73,000 power level and I'm probably not gonna touch him hardly ever again. He's allowing me to control 900K and 1 million power level teams. Really, what's the point in increasing any further than that? Now, if you are interested in learning about how to counter other specific heroes, namely two very popular heroes in Rufus and Dante, I got a couple of videos on screen now. Check those out if you wanna learn how to counter those two. Please leave a like on the way out the door. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.